Hello my friends, welcome again. Here we are in the dashboard of our application. And if we go to the categories, we just return a string hello for now. And if I go to the VS Code, we have registered the road resources cut uh, for categories and we can we add the category controller and if I open the category controller I have the category controller resource created so we have five methods five actions index create store show edit update and destroy you can create that by by running the artisan make controller and dash dash resource in the end okay and here in the index the index method is handling the uh, slash categories and we return the hello i'm going to change this and we're going to return the view uh, admin is not yet created but admin uh, categories categories dot index save and go to the views okay here we can create now new folder for the admin and here again new folder for the categories categories and here a new file index blade index dot blade dot php and here I'm going to add x app layout and if I save now come here and refresh yeah now we have the layout but uh, you see here uh, we are inside the categories and the dashboard is highlighted and this is because if we go to the app blade inside the layouts here we have a dashboard and the dashboard has bg gray 200 and the other says transparent uh, for that i'm going to create a new component so inside the component here no here is here I'm going to create a new file call it a app link dot blade dot php okay and here I'm going to copy what we have in the nav link here in the vendor jet stream components copy all from that and paste it here and uh, one more thing if you go to the app layout i'm going to copy the the style here and go and uh, this is going to be up here and the other is going to be here paste save this and uh, Now if you go to the index, now app layout here, we have a navigation and we can add x app layout, sorry, x app link and add the shref for that link. In, for this is going to be a dashboard okay uh, so I wrote 
dashboard and active because if you go to the up, up link sorry here we have the props active and if this active is active we add this uh, style other ways we change the style okay for that i'm going to say active if we're going to do the same thing as the jet stream has done with the, the links okay so we add the link here and the active is if the request wrote is for example in this case is teams.create or uh, teams show okay we are going to do the same thing so active if uh, the in our case if the road if the request road is and uh, the road is uh, dashboard okay close and just say dashboard here okay close that app link and save and refresh to see what we have we have an error if the request Wrote this and why if the request is a method save refresh and yeah so if we go to the dashboard now we have this one okay that's cool so come here and uh, remove now the other links and copy this and paste it here now change this to be uh, categories index dot index and if the road is categories dot index we add categories and save come here refresh yeah and now we are in the dashboard if we go to the categories yeah the categories is highlighted okay and here i'm going to add a uh, Where we have a dashboard so I'm going to copy what we have here and add it here change this not dashboard but uh, say categories and also with the leaf for now but just to see yeah here we have a categories and here I want to display uh, a table okay and if we go to the not tile in, uh, here we have tile blocks and I think we can uh, see some examples table 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 team no where is table 
Yeah, here is the table. Or you can go to the Tailwind UI. Tailwind CSS and documentation, uh, components, and try out. And here we have some examples here. This is the pagination. Okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, here we are the table. And I'm going to copy this one and uh, paste it here now. Save. Come here and refresh. And here it is. The problem is because we need to remove this kind of thing. Okay, save and refresh. Yeah, it's more flat now. And uh, here we can do, if we go to the controller, I want to say categories is going to be category, not all, but uh, make paginate by 12. And here we can add compact. Uh, categories and hit save and now in the index blade we can say for example the name yeah and the category has slug and the image okay uh, remove that and here we can say name slug and image name slug and image remove that and uh, I'm going to remove all and this one and here we can do is uh, for each sorry for each double sign categories as a category and paste this one here. Okay, for this category is category. Here we can display the category name. Category name here and save. From here, refresh. And for now, we don't have any category. I'm going to say here. Uh, container and my x auto save come here refresh and why is not in the center this one Next. 
and if we add the in the up plate here we have flex so window with full refresh and yeah now we have uh, with full here and this is in the center Okay, looks good with full. We had the header, and uh, in the index, we had the container makes auto refresh. And uh, here you have a table, I mean with full, and I'm going to say with full by default. Okay, okay, save, come here and refresh. And yeah, now it look more nice. And here we can, if we have a, on a categories, we display here. Uh, that's it for this video friends hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best